going on? What's going on? What's going on? First of all, let me say happy Friday and happy springtime. We are finally in the spring of this weather. Um, it's been 11 days since I made another video. I checked and hold on y'all. I got a guy that's trying to back in and he's got his truck totally jackknife and okay he's straightening back up all right <clears throat> y'all have to forgive me i'm a little paranoid because i was sitting here parked i'm here in uh toma wisconsin at the walmart and i was parked in their little uh holding lot and the truck on the other side of me i guess he was trying i don't know what he was trying to do all i know is when you come in they've got like little brick little uh concrete blocks alongside the road make a long story short he tore all his whole front bumper off trying to back in next to me so i'm like wow how'd you even i mean and the thing about it is they got it where you can drive around and come and then park because all the parking lots are slanted like that but anyway i don't even know what he was doing how he did that but yeah it's been 11 days and uh last week was not Matter of fact, this week is not a good week for Ghost Rider. I'm kind of frustrated, a little, not just a tad bit upset because, let's see, uh, I ended up doing a reset last weekend on a Friday. I had to deliver a load to Manassas, Virginia on, uh, on actually it delivered four, listen, listen, it, follow me on this. I had a Manassa load from Wisconsin, uh, yeah, all the way to Manassas, Virginia, at the Cisco. Um, I was trying to get that load in for cutoff, which is cutoff is on Sun, uh, eight eight o'clock in the morning. Monday morning is our cutoff time to get any kind of paperwork in so that it could be on the following week's uh, payroll. So. When I got the load and I looked at it, I was like, okay. I got that load Thursday, I think I did. And uh, my fleet manager was like, okay, just, you know, let me know Saturday. Because, I, oh, I picked up on Saturday. Let me know Saturday. Uh, man, y'all have to forgive me, man. It's been hustle and bustle. I mean, tight, tight, tight. Just trying to maintain my standard of truck revenue. Um, picked the load up on Saturday uh, and then my fleet manager told me when she gave it to me on Thursday, you know, a hey, call and see if we might be able to get this, uh, the time moved up, you know, for you to get it in before payroll. So, you know, I'm like, okay, cool. I'll definitely do that. So whoop, whoop, I, I shoot down uh, to pick up because this, actually that, that Manassa load wasn't scheduled to be picked up until Saturday that evening, but I got there and got it loaded up on Saturday morning. Y'all hear me? It wasn't supposed to be picked up this Saturday evening, but I got there and got it loaded on Saturday morning, okay? Um, in other words, what I'm saying is a lot of times these shipper and receiving times, some places you can go ahead and you can go in if you show up, or if, if you're there, depending on how you talk to people, they'll go ahead and load you or, or work you in, you know what I'm saying? So not, not, not necessarily do you have to always go by these times. My point, and y'all see what I'm talking about when I get to the end of this story. Forgive me for being so long. So I call, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to let the system work. So I call in and like, hey, you know, I'm on this load. I was told that uh, I know this load delivers on Monday evening at 4.55. Uh, but I was told maybe y'all can uh, see about uh, getting the uh, load, the load moved up f for me so I can make cutoff. Mind you, now I'm talking a weekend dispatch. And everybody knows how the weekend dispatch is. So they're like, okay, uh, well, we'll send an email out. We'll reach out to somebody. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, and we'll, we'll let you know. We'll get back with you. Well, they never got back with me. So I ended up having to call again. And so then when I called again, I was like, hey, I had called. Now I'm letting the system work. I'm saying, hey, um, I called to, to check to see, you know, had y'all heard anything back? And guess the response that I got was, well, we we sent, when we first got this load, there was there was a reply put out to uh, get it shipped, to get it delivered early, but they didn't they didn't want to do that, and so that's the time, and probably nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, that 
whatever that time is, that's the time that you're going to have to go by and whatnot. So there's pretty much nothing. In the future, just try not to schedule no loads that close to cutoff because it's pretty much impossible to make and it'll cut out some of the stress that you'll have. First of all, all I asked was, could you get this time moved up? I didn't ask for all that other stuff. It's either yay or nay. So right then and there, I knew, you know what? Okay. Never mind. Don't don't even don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. That's what I'm saying to myself. You know what? I'm just going to do what Ghost Rider does best. So, mind you, I was looking on uh, Google and reading all the reviews and the comments, and it's it's a five four to five star place. I mean, and they've got overnight parking and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, I got one or two choices. I can either stop at a truck stop and wait till freaking Monday, but I gotta get this load in. So guess what Ghost Rider decides to do? You know what? Because stopping at a truck stop, what? You're already eliminating your possibility. So what's the end result? Why not go there and try? What's the end result? I'll be back at a truck stop, or hey, they got overnight parking. Hey, win-win situation for me. So I shoot in there and they check me in and they're like, wow, your appointment's not till 4.55 uh, Monday afternoon. I'm like, yeah, no. You know, I was like, and he was like, well, we'll see what we can do. Go on pop. Make a long story short, man. I sat there. Let's see. I Matter of fact, I ended up being able to get a reset in. Yeah. Because I got this. Sunday, early Sunday morning and I was able to get a reset in and then I'll tell you why I was able to get a reset in because it took forever to get me another load but anyway make a long story short I sat there got there like a 12 o'clock Sunday morning Sunday afternoon 12 o'clock you know Sunday and which I was chilling because it's the place is phenomenal the place is nice and they've got like the a lot of room for you to park a lot of trucks where you can where you can sit and wait until it's your time and then they got porter johns out there but um they end up calling me to a door three o'clock that morning and got me unloaded before it was about like three i got there at three got in the door at three uh i'll put it this way by eight o'clock I was sitting back, sitting back in the spot. Now, mind you, the rule is, you know, you're only allowed to check in 24 hours before your appointment time, and then you can stay 24 hours after your appointment time. But I ended up doing a 34 hour there. And I'm so glad that I followed my first mind because if I'd have listened to my dispatcher fleet manager going off of just strictly off of what they said, I'd have been messed up. And so my question to y'all is, how many times have y'all listened to your fleet manager and not taken the initiative to try and make something happen? Because what is the worst thing that can happen? You know, if you try, you end up with the, the, the beginning results of sitting somewhere. But if you if you go and it works, then guess what? You're ahead of the game. So that's what I want to ask. I guess that'll be the topic of this whole situation is, you know, when do you take matters into your own hands as a truck driver as far as getting load getting unloaded and getting loaded and i'm not talking about it in a rude way but i'm talking about as far as trying to you know just make everything work in your favor because it's, it's just getting ridiculous but anyway so here i am monday and they, they act like they don't have make you know what i'm just so frustrated just thinking about it and i'm sorry y'all y'all to y'all gotta forgive me but to make a long story short they put me on a plan which I should have never taken. But I did it just because I was trying to let the system work. Trust what they're doing. You hear me? Give them the benefit of the doubt. I took three loads and out of those three loads, my truck revenue was at only 3000 Sitting on 3000 come Friday. And I said, you know what? If I take this plan, because evidently it seems like everywhere we go, there's always a problem of getting loads. So I took that because it was kind of it was putting me back up here to my, up here in Wisconsin, so I could get you know 
start start the whole trip all over again of getting good loads going out of Wisconsin and then you know you gotta fight and scratch to get back up to Wisconsin just to get some good loads you know so that was one of the reasons but I was also relying heavily on them to say okay by at least this is Monday by at least Wednesday or Thursday y'all should have a, 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 a load for me to back up this and it should be a good load because a 3,000 truck revenue that's my truck expenses right there so if I only made truck expenses come Friday and cut off is Monday morning what do you think Ghost Rider is going to have? Ghost Rider ain't going to have nothing so I called Tuesday and they said the planners didn't get back with them I called Thursday planners didn't get back with him so I'm like okay y'all have from doggone it Monday all the way up until now Friday to find me a decent load so that I can make my fleet manager had to get downright involved you hear me my, my fleet manager she was like I am on this because this doesn't make any sense and so, make a long story short, she was able to get me a load from our terminal in Juliet down to, uh, what's that place? Uh, Amarillo, Texas. So, all in all, I'll be clearing a truck revenue of about 5000 which is not good at all. It's not good. It is not, not good, not good. And I and I, I told her I will not be doing this. If y'all ever send me some plans like that again, I will not be doing it. I'm sorry. Y'all always follow, stick to your guns and follow your first mind. The only reason I did it because I was just trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because they kept sending me over loads, over loads, small, like 500, 600, wanting me to run dog on 10, 11 hour, you know, for these for these amounts. Uh, I was just waving at another uh, truck or one of our company truckers. And uh, I'm not I'm not finna do that. That's that's ridiculous because the the line haul amount that you're providing for these long 10, 11 hour drives, you eat that up in fuel, okay? And then it, and then they ain't even paying for your deadhead. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to come. You know, I guess y'all say, God dog. Every time we see Ghost Rider, he always ranting and raving. Y'all, it's serious out here. This is my business. This is my livelihood. I don't have anything else after this. You know what I'm saying? I, and I specifically did that for a reason so that I can succeed. Because a, one millionaire said that when you've got your back up against the wall and you don't have any other options, the only option is to succeed. Think about that. You back a cat or a dog up in the corner, what's up? He coming out of there one way or another. Either around you Oh, he gonna eat right through you. <laughs> so, hey, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is y'all's business. Know your worth, man. Y'all need to know y'all's worth. Stop just taking anything and everything. Know your worth in trucking. I mean, think about it. I'm gonna give you an analogy. A nine to five job. This is what I mean by know your worth. A nine to five job. You're trying to get hired on. This guy is offering you $8.50 an hour. Are you gonna take that job or are you gonna try and shoot for something that's higher? Because guess what? $8.50 an hour. If you take that job or if you take something that's lesser than that, guess what you're letting that person know? That I'm telling you that's all I'm worth. Because guess what? $8.50 an hour, you're actually selling uh, you're trading off a, an hour of your life to that person. Ooh, that's deep, huh? Ooh, that's deep. All these folks who work these 40-hour job, 40 hours a week, that's 40 hours off your lifetime, off your life. That's 40 hours you, you're telling somebody, okay, you're going to pay me 40 hours for umpteen dollars an hour. That's what you're saying that you're worth. That's what you, you're telling him that that's what you're worth. Know your worth as a truck. It's the same way out here when you're taking these loads. You know, for these chump change amounts. That's what you're saying? Man, you are a freaking truck driver. Every minute, every second you're on the road, your life is on the line. And so you're going to run something that is beneath you, knowing that any moment something could fall off, something can happen? 
Come on now. We got to pull it together, y'all. Got to pull it together. But to all my new subscribers, hey, this is the way Ghost Rider rolls. We're going to tell it to you straight and to the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, subscribe, comment, share. You know, I hit you back. Uh, just, just do all the, I think we're up to 158 subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. But yes, like, subscribe, comment, and Ghost Rider will be getting back with you uh, because I'm sitting here at this Walmart in Toma, Wisconsin, and it's going to take them forever to unload me, which I done been here a thousand times, and it just takes them forever to unload. Then I got to shoot down in Juliet, and I pick up, the, which is preloaded, and I got to have that delivered down in Amarillo, Texas, uh, 0001 Monday, which is one past midnight you know what i'm saying so yep 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 that's it just wanted to come back on i know it's been a long time i know so i guess yeah know your worth know your worth but i guess what i guarantee you ghost rider will not be taking no plans because if ghost rider i'm telling you if you well, especially with this company ain't nowhere where you should be sitting at three thousand as a truck expense on wednesday on when that should be on either monday or tuesday by Wednesday, you should be close to the five range in order, because I know in order for me to bring home a decent net, I've got to be either the six, the sevens, or the eights, truck expenses. Now, I have done it. Now, this past, this past uh, week, a week before, I did it, and my truck revenue was five, and but the deadhead miles and the loads were pretty close together the pickups and the drops off and the line hauls were good and so by me doing five it allowed me to clear a net profit of three y'all feel me so there are those loads out there you just got to get them but running all these man, anyway i'm you know what i'm gonna go before i get upset all over again but i just wanted to holler at you guys and you know like we always saying it's springtime it's time for everything it's time to get crunk up it's time to get crunk. It's springtime, y'all. It's time to do this thing. Freight's supposed to be picking up, not going back down. All right, y'all like and subscribe. Like I always say, I'm keeping it moving and peace out.